Hi, my name is Bob Grunier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So Tony Jaboni, aka Rob, has updated his Windhex analog drawings and schematics and has done a bill of materials and has said that he will be uploading future updates to the Windhex blog in remoteview.icu and I will link that in the description of this video for those that don't know. And here what he has saying he's done is that he's uh, modified the design to lower production costs as much as possible and he's sacrificed a bit of sturdiness and durability uh, for low cost prototyping, prototyping efforts. The main objective is to get one up and running and confirm that the disintegration zone is present in the wind hex. So um, he said that he substituted the metal supports uh, for a cheap wooden frame here and it should be quick to put together and he sub uh, substituted the metal exhaust support frame and adjustable lid for cheap and quick plywood parts. He's uh, going to secure the adjustable top with a couple of clamps and that is where the vent comes out. What you're looking at there is the input uh, knife edge which is adjustable so these are the wooden area at the top. There we go we can look down the output port out air port and that is the drop area. Okay so you can see here the seal and so forth. That's looking in and you can see where the airflow is injected. He's added some provisions to the inlet housing to make adjusting the whistle parts easier. And uh, you can see how that could be adjusted with a simple screw. And he's going to be personally doing gaskets with sticky rubber tape for now and this will suffice for prototyping phases. He says he's managed to knock down the cost uh, to uh, under 500 euros x VAT. 563 here, 81 with VAT. So uh, that's about a third cheaper than it was in the previous iteration. And the folder that you can gain access to will have a parts list, as you can see here and the costs and there's also some suggested places where you can buy these parts off the shelf the ones that are not custom made and he's also um, done a pdf here showing some details so here is the adjustable whistle edge you move this in and out to change the aperture here through which the high pressure and heated air on the inlet tube uh, goes through and into this area here. Uh, this is looking at it, this from the side and you can see how you have these uh, star screws and you can adjust this in and out to change that parameter. You zoom out, you've got an overview there and these are your four input jet areas. And uh, if I zoom out over here, you can see that the overall height here from the base of the wood frame to the top of the air and moisture output jet is 1.5223 meters. And so that is not too tall. Uh, you know, this is a, if it works, it's a, device that someone could have reasonably in their garden. You can look at this file from the resources using a three month download or Rhino. There's a free three month trial that you can get. And he will share the uh, 
parts and assembly and which needs to be shaped and welded and so forth. So he says, coming Wednesday, I'll discuss the assembly and parts to be shaped, welded with the metal shaper. And you might have to do some minor adjustments to the laser files to optimize the parts for shaping and welding them in the workshop. As soon as that's done, I'll finalize the prototype parts and upload all of the CNC laser cutting files as well. So the carbon steel sheet will have to be finished with a primer or other substance to prevent it from rusting and such. If you want to do foodstuffs with it, I would suggest looking at stainless steel. And I would suggest, that's me, uh, not having one with vanadium in there. Uh, or a finish that is food safe whilst being exposed to whatever the monopole or uh, mean square radii, whatchamacallit, call it, he says, <laughs> disruption zone. So, because uh, you don't want to have pound paint or powder coating um, falling into your food, do you? So there we go. Bill of materials, uh, a sort of overview of this cheaper version, cheaper to construct, and the PDF of details. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Tony Jaboni, Aka Rob, and I will see you in the next video.